I'm Dr Ingrid Pickering and I'm Professor and Canada Research Chair at the University of Saskatchewan. Dr Ingrid Pickering is from the UK. She spent time working at a synchrotron in California before moving with her husband and children to Saskatoon 11 years ago. She is currently studying the relationship between arsenic and selenium and how it relates to human health. She uses the synchrotron to look at these elements at the microscopic level. The synchrotron is a large machine for producing light, light with very special characteristics. Uh, and this light is captured by elaborate pipes, which we call beam lines. So the light shines down a series of beam lines all the way around this ring structure. And each of those beam lines has an experimental station at the end of it, where researchers like me do their work. Synchrotron is used for research in a very wide range of different fields uh, and one of those is agriculture. Uh, one of the ways that people are using the synchrotron uh, is to look at trace metals within, uh, within things that we eat, such as seeds, and in particular to find ways in which we can increase them in our crops to make a more biofortified or more healthy crop. The Canadian Light Source employs approximately 200 people, and since its opening in 2005, it's hosted more than 2,000 researchers. The Canadian Light Source is a unique facility in Canada, uh, and I personally think it's absolutely fantastic that it's right here in Saskatchewan. It's a real addition to our province, uh, and, uh, and it makes sense for people like my husband and I to move to Saskatchewan to be close to the synchrotron.